Hello everyone and welcome again to my kitchen. Today I thought it'd be kind of fun to test out some like viral Halloween treats and not like the really gory ones, like I can't do that. They're like Disney movies that scare me. But I thought it'd be kind of fun to test out a bunch of things that I'd seen online and see what works and what doesn't. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Saturday. And without further ado, let's get into this. So the first recipe I want to test out are these like marbled candy apples. By the way, that is how I do Halloween. How do I take something that's like somewhat related to Halloween and make it just like really pretty and Pinteresty. So I have here a couple of apples. I will link the original recipe down below for you guys so you can go and check that out. That is the one I'm going to be testing out today. But the step one is remove the stems. So far crushing it. Now it says to take lollipop sticks and like shove them into the apple as far as they'll go. Now I don't have lollipop sticks but I do have these bamboo sticks which is like basically the same thing right? They're just like a little bit longer. All right. Get it in there. Okay, I'm less good at this part. Oh, there we go. Ta-da! Look at that. So far, I've nailed the easiest part of the entire recipe. All right, now comes the tricky part. So in a medium saucepan, you need a candy thermometer, like so. I just bought mine today. And into this, because I have the recipe from on the website, we're gonna do one and a half cups of sugar, half a cup of water, and then a quarter cup of light corn syrup. I have to remember, don't follow the exact instructions on this website, Rachel. Now we're gonna mix this together and then I'm gonna put it on the stove and it's just gonna sit there on medium heat, I believe, and just to let it medium high heat and let it bubble without mixing until it reaches 302 degrees. Very specific. Slight change of plans, I had to do the whole recipe because otherwise the thermometer wouldn't hit the liquid. It's fine. I just have more candy. Um, so I haven't stirred it at all. It is on there and uh, I'm just waiting for it to come up to temperature. Oh my gosh, making candy takes forever, but we're almost there guys. Almost there. Okay, so now it is at 302. We're gonna take it off the heat, cool it down, and I need to add to it, this apparently needs to go very fast. So a teaspoon of vanilla, drops of whitener, and then stir it. Oh my gosh, should I make it more white? I don't know. I need to add in a couple of drops of the two different colors. So apparently you take a drop or two. This is so stressful. And you just kind of swirl them a little bit all right and we dip okay so that's what it looks like right now now i'm going to dip my apples okay tilting it to the side and around uh almost kind of a little bit maybe Ta -da! okay i got a big like blob of green here I need to mix this a little bit. Let's try it again. Okay, that one is less good. And last one. Okay, this is my least good one. It has bubbles all over it. So there are my three different ones. So you can see obviously my first one is the best one and it gets progressively worse. But there is some like bubbling in there, which I'm sure if you are a candy expert, you know what that is, but I have no idea. This is my first time making these. And I don't know, it didn't say in the instructions to like keep adding food coloring to it. Um, so I don't know how to continuously get that pretty like bright blue and green kind of effect to it. This was kind of a fail for me. Like if I had to do six of these, like they all would have looked gray. As it stands on the recipe, I did not get the effect that I wanted, though I'm sure they're very delicious. We have to wait until they cool though. Okay, now onto the next recipe. And this one I was kind of curious about testing because I want to see if I can actually make it look like it. And it is a, I don't even know how to just, a cow eyeball? Eyeballs, it's very Halloween, right? But basically it's a coconut dessert, so it's in the form of a an eyeball. So I have these like little plastic, these are I think ice cube molds, and um, so it's gonna make the shape of an eye. But I thought it'd be kind of cool to see if it actually works, if it looks good, if it tastes good, like all that jazz. So I'm gonna start with what's in my saucepan. This is a mixture of coconut milk, water, and you can also use either gelatin or agar agar. Um, so I guess the, the recipe focused on agar agar, but I believe it is a straight substitution with gelatin, so you can use just whatever you have. And I've basically just 
mixed it all together, and now we're gonna throw it on the stove. All right, it is starting to boil now, so I'm gonna reduce it down to low, and I'm gonna add in some sugar. Look at the mess I made, honestly, Rachel. Throw in some sugar, and then give it a stir. And at this point, apparently, you can add as much sugar or as little sugar as you like, just basically to taste but they started with half a cup and you can kind of work from there. Okay, now I need to make the part that's gonna be like the black part of the eyeball. So I have in here some red and blue and green food coloring, just kind of like slaps them in there. And basically I'm gonna take a little bit of this mixture, pour it into here until it makes like a black, like coconut base. Give this a stir. Come on, black. All right, this seems to be as black as we're gonna get. So basically I'm going to take like a tablespoon of this mixture or so and place it into the bottom of each of these little um, molds and then stick them in the fridge to let it set before I go in with the rest of the white mixture. All right, now that these guys have set a little bit in the fridge for like 20 minutes or so, I am now, I use this little funnel to pour in the rest of the liquid so it creates that 3D shape. I'm just gonna pour it in and we're gonna set it for a little bit longer. Ah, uh, why isn't it going in? Ah, uh, oh no, look at that. It hadn't set. It's been like more than 20 minutes and it's like completely dissolved all of the black. So we've had them in the fridge for another like half hour or so and they seem to be like fully jelly now. So now I'm going to use this to pour it slowly into the little sphere. And then I'm gonna stop it right before the end because I want it to be flat on one side so it can actually like sit on a plate. Ta-da! Look at I'm learning. All right, now I'm gonna let these set overnight and then we're gonna see what they look like in the morning. But so far it seems that if you put too much of the black stuff in, it will take a lot longer to set, which I should have known, but I didn't think that far through. So you can see this one's become a little gray, but these two look really good. So we'll see what those ones look like. Okay, now these have fully set, and now I wanna take them apart and actually see if it looks like an eyeball. Oh, gross. Oh, that is so cool. Like all of the dark black sort of pooled in the middle, and it actually looks like a legit eyeball. That is awesome. <laughs> Put that on a plate and try not to freak everyone out. Okay, now to see if it's actually like edible. Okay, and the verdict is that it is good if you like coconut, which I mean should be fairly obvious. If you've tried coconut milk before and you like it, then you will like this. It is really good, um, but just sort of like a heads up. If you've never tried coconut milk before and then you go into this, you may be surprised how coconutty it is. But you know what? It's pretty good. I do like it. Okay, now we're gonna be testing out one that I'm very excited to test out, and that is using a drill and a hand mixer beater bar thing to clean out a pumpkin. And I know that this isn't a dessert or even edible, but I mean, like, technically, the seeds are edible. And it's Halloween related, I had nowhere else to put this. So I have everything in the sink right now. Cut off the lid already. Guts still intact. And I have a bag here for composting it all because, you know, lots of guts. Also, I think I'll probably roast the pumpkin seeds, but anyway. So basically I just like jammed this in and that seems to work. Ta-da. And basically what you do is you go all the way around the outside of the pumpkin, like turning it on, obviously, and then it's going to scoop out all the pieces and it's much easier than using a spoon or a knife to kind of carve around the outside. So we're gonna try it. Oh, it fell off completely. Let's see how much of the goo I actually got off the sides here. Hang on. Okay, first time around was not that successful. Like there's still a ton at the bottom there that hasn't come off. So let's try and like fit this on again and try it again. I'm trying to make it stay on, but it keeps coming off. Does she have some like magical hand mixer beater thing that I don't know about? It does slice off very easily in case anyone is wondering. I don't know, man. I don't think this is working really well. It keeps coming off. Maybe if you have some like magical mixer that I'm unaware of that has a better beater than this, 
but like it's not working it up the way I had expected it to. It's not combing it off the side as well. And honestly, a sharper like edged uh, spoon I think would do like just as good of a job. It's just a little bit longer. So what do you guys think? Have you used these recipes slash hack before? Would you use them again? Do you use any particular recipes for Halloween that you absolutely love that you use over and over again? Leave me a comment down below. I wanna hear what you guys are doing. And don't forget to check out the Halloween hacks video that I did on I believe I did it on Rachel Loves last year. Oh, maybe not. I think I did it on this channel. I'll link it regardless for you guys if you want to go and check it out. I did a whole bunch of different hacks like the jelly worms and like a whole bunch of different ones. So you can go and check that out if you're interested. But I hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe for new videos every Saturday and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you all. Mwah.